Good afternoon. I'm Guillaume Castaigne. We'll talk about some productivity tips and tricks to boost your productivity in Odoo. First of all, thank you for being here. I know that this is the last session of very, three very intense days, so I appreciate your presence here. Um, I'll present 10 most I iconic features, which are some are new, some are already here uh, since V12, but we found these interesting for you uh, to be presented today. The first one is the new views. So three new views, or enhanced, so the enhanced GAN view now allows the click and drag of uh, the different uh, boxes that you have in the GAN view, so you don't have to switch uh, back and forth from the list view to the GAN view. We now have a, a clean activities view and a map view. We, we can switch to a database to, to have a look at that. So let's start with the GAN view. Let's say time off. I'm a manager. I want to have a look at uh, the time of requests uh, of my employees. Uh, let's say that the initial situation is that Anita is here in conflict uh, with Ronnie, and I've been discussing with Anita, and she agrees to uh, move her holiday period to the next day, so I don't have a conflict on that day. So I don't have to go back and forth to list view. I, I just can click and drag uh, the, the leave request to be able to modify these. Um, the activities view, let's say uh, I'm a sales guy. I want to have a view on my day, and by looking at that, I can see that I have one email to send, four calls to be made that, I, that I'm late for, one email, one call, and, and yeah, two, two other ones. So um, that's an easy way to, to plan your day and to schedule uh, your activities. Uh, the latest view uh, I want to show is the map view that's useful for uh, field services you, if you want to plan your tasks and to see uh, which guy you want to send uh, on which uh, intervention. You can have a, a look at how are these uh, uh, split on the map so you can group these for one guy to, to have the trip and you can also view this in Google Maps to have uh, the full trip and to be able to, uh, to locate these. Second one is the mass editing list view, so um, I'll show that directly in the ta database that, that's uh, much easier. Um, let's say you had the wrong configuration in your, in your database and um, for one particular customer, let's say Gemini Future, uh, the sales team was set to America, but it should be Europe. So you can select all these lines, just click on one line, change from America to Europe. It, you have a pop-up saying, do you really want to apply that on all the lines? You agree, and then you just update everything in one, so you don't have to export, update, and import again. You are saving a lot of time by doing so. And this is also applicable in many list view in accounting. If you uh, uh, chose a wrong account for uh, multiple journal entries, you, you have the possibility to uh, update also this just in a few clicks. Date filters, so dynamic, uh, not dynamic, but smart date filters uh, with uh, predefined values, so you don't have to use the is before, is after, or is, or is, is between. You have possibilities to uh, use that easier, so you have uh, the three latest months, the four latest quarters, and the three lat latest years that, that you can just uh, select and you will uh, see the information which is uh, relevant for, for these periods. Um, you can now drag and drop files in the chatter, so you don't have to uh, use the attachment function. You just can log a note, send a message, you go to your file explorer, you select uh, the documents. It can be one, but also multiple documents, and you drag and drop these directly in the chatter. They will upload and be attached uh, in the chatter directly. 
Uh, you now have a signature widget that you can uh, add in many views. Uh, this is according to me uh, relevant for field services. You have an intervention, you start your timer and you want your uh, customer to give a formal validation that you've been there, that you've performed the operation that you are mentioning uh, on, your, on your sheet. You can uh, have your customer signing that and you store that so you have uh, for the future, the validation of your customer in your system. So let's have a look at that. Field services, let's take one task. That one has already been used. So I start that one. I will just stop it directly. I save it and now, now I can edit it and ask for the signature of my customer. This is also uh, usable on tablet, which is most likely uh, what uh, the, the people visiting the customers will be using. And so the customer just has to sign a, and you store the signature directly uh, on the task. And you keep that for, for the future as your formal client validation. Uh, we now have the possibility to calculate um, simple uh, math formulas uh, in float fields directly in Odoo. So let's say um, I'm doing a purchase. Um, I've been speaking with, with my supplier, and my supplier is uh, telling me that for once I, I, I can get a, a discount on one product. So. Um, I can calculate it directly. If I want to do that really, let's say, quick and dirty, that, that's um, easy to do it like, that way. So let's say that I'm getting a 25% discount, so I'm using times 0.75, and I have directly the value updated in the field. So uh, this is available uh, in every float field and you can use the same, the same symbols and logical as you, you are using currently in Excel. So you don't have to have your calculator or an Excel sheet separate from Odoo. You can do everything uh, directly in Odoo. You can now also access records directly from pivot tables. So this means that you can click on what's in your private views and see uh, what's the information behind that. Um, let's have a look at how it looks. I'll do it by months. I'll add my uh, customer. And let's say I want also to see the status. And I don't really know why, but that one is still in quotation, so I can click directly and see, OK, there are two quotations which are still pending, and I can follow up directly by getting down directly to, to the sales order from uh, the pivot view. And this is available for, for many pivot views, so you have direct access to uh, all information which is behind your reporting and the figures that you are seeing in your pivot view. Dynamic list view, so you now have the possibility to add and remove fields from a list view, so you can really customize it uh, quickly uh, and have tailored, uh, customized uh, list view that, that you can save and keep. And this goes with the next feature, which is already available in the previous version, but that I think interesting to mention is that when you are seeing a, a list view, you can export directly the current uh, fields and yeah, fields that are shown in the list view. So you don't have to select all the fields for some Customers, it can be a nightmare to know uh, exactly which field needs to be exported. So uh, that makes your life easier too. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at how it looks. I don't want to see my 
uh, company because uh, I know that I have only one company. Uh, the next activity summary is too much information for me, uh, but I'd like to see uh, the email and phone number of my customer, uh, its country, the stage, the expected revenue, and the probability, and not the sales team. So I have a new list view which is fully customized. I want to export it. And all the fields that have been changing are here present. And if I s switch to uh, import compatible export, um, you, uh, you keep the fields that are compatible. And if I go back, then I, I get again the, the fields that are present in my list view. So really clean and easy to use. And w yeah, uh, it saves you much time to, to export your list views. And last thing, keyboard navigation. So this is already present since uh, previous version, but this is something that I, I wanted to show you because this is key and we, we get a lot of questions, for example, from accountants. They, they don't like to use the mouse because they want to pro process uh, more information uh, and clicking is a waste of, of time for them. So they can just use the, the press alt function and you see here that we are magnifying the fields that you can open by just having some shortcuts. Uh, let's create, let's say, a customer invoice. So I want to go back to my home page. I'll go to uh, customer invoices. Sorry. Yeah, here. I press Alt, I press C. I create one, so my customer is Azure Interior. I press tab, 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 tab. I want to go on the line. Let's say that I have um, this customer has bought a large cabinet. So this is here on my line. I don't want to change everything. The information looks perfect. I want to go back to save, so I need to press time multiple times to get back to the top of the page. Here we are, and here I have this small, um, uh, this small pop-up saying, okay, if you press enter, then you will save. So I want to press enter, I'm saving it, and now I want to post it, so I press Alt-O, and my uh, customer invoice has been posted. If, if I want to go back to all my customer invoices, I'm there, and if I want to go back to my home screen, I'm there. So. You can really do everything with the keyboard. I have not been using my, my mouse for the latest 30 seconds, but this is really useful, and you can do that in all the, all the other apps. So that's it for the features that I wanted to present you, and I'm available for any questions you would have on what I've just shown to you.